Hi everyone. Um, I'm gonna start by just saying thank you for everyone that subscribed to my channel um, and all the beautiful messages and comments from my last video with the Blue Avion. So thank you so much for <clears throat> being a part of this journey with me. And um, I know that you know, many of my videos are going to be very emotional and triggering, but um, that's just my medicine. It's just the way that I, I communicate and and that's what I'm here to show, um, to bring out. This is, this is the way that I do it. And so thank you for um, allowing me to be vulnerable and for just being kind, being nice, you know, that last video was very emotional and very vulnerable for me. And it's just really amazing to see that um, it's it was received with kindness and compassion and that it helped, you know, people. So I just want to start off by saying that. So there's been a lot um, going on in my life, a lot of changes and a lot of intense energies. Um, I'm just going to settle in a little bit here into the energies for today. I am going to do uh, a journey um, with spider medicine so i really want to explore spider medicine <coughs> and what what that all means the spider medicine and especially the spider web and what that really means because there's a lot of that going around and there's also a light and shadow side to um spider medicine so I wanted to touch on that because a lot of people are, are afraid of spider and and there's just a lot of misunderstanding about it, I feel. So I've been thinking a lot about this and tapping into her energy. At first, you know, I felt a pull towards her, not but I'm not really knowing what exactly she meant you know in a in a the bigger picture of her medicine um i kind of knew like yeah okay spider web um so you create your you, you create your destiny you're cre you're creating your life as you go you're creating your web and that's really all that i felt like um about her but i'm starting to understand there's this concept of the spider itself and how she can be a friend or she can be your enemy because spider has a very um can have a very sticky energy to her the web can make you feel trapped so you can feel trapped in someone else's web. You can feel trapped in addiction, in, in a webbing of sorts. And a web can also be something that tr entrances you and just really um makes you feel stuck like it it um entraps you in it and the spider could feed off like you could be essentially what i'm trying to say is that your energy can be leaking in certain areas so that could be an addiction that could be a thought it could be actual people it can be different energies it can be you know, you have to look at where your insecurities are. Um, it could be a job that you feel stuck in. And 
And so there's a lot of these spider energies around. And I've also been thinking about how when, so you're creating your own web, you're the master of your own web, but we, if you don't know this, right? If you don't know and you think you're living in someone else's web, then you are at the mercy of that spider, of that web. And also, if you don't feel that you can create your reality, so how well are you at creating your own web? How structured are you? How disciplined are you every day? How much awareness do you have of your the system in, within your mind that is creating your web, so creating your life as it unfolds, and also how your web has been affected by past traumas, past experiences. You know, how does your web look like? Are there holes in it? Do you need to go patch some, some areas? Um, so this also can, can look like cleaning up your web, cleaning up your web and um, perfecting it, solidifying it. All of these things take, you know, discipline and lots of awareness. And so we can work with the spider energy in that way. And, you know, if you're not really good at um, the art of webbing, you're the practice of of webbing your your web, of creating your web, solidifying your web, and perfecting your web. That spider that lives inside of you, so it can also be a, a separate part of you that exists within us all, I believe. Um, she could turn against you if you're not if because if your web is not web is not perfected, positioned in the right place with no holes in it, then it's not an efficient web. So you won't be able to feed your spider because it's not efficient. The bugs are not getting trapped in it. Manifestation, trapping in your needs, you know. Um, so, so which means um, taking care of your needs. What are your needs? Are you taking care of your own needs? How well are you doing that? How much do you think that you are capable of doing that? And how much do you feel that you're in charge of meeting your own needs? And so meeting the needs of this spider within you, when this spider within you doesn't, is not fed properly, it can go in and try to constantly reach outwards into other webs to gain that um, to quench that um, thirst and that hunger. And so if you're feeling depleted or if you're feeling drained or if you don't feel like you have direction, that's all spider energy or it can be associated with spider energy. So you can work with spider energy in that way in creating your web, establishing, you know, your web and it also, you know, a healthy web is a healthy person. And a healthy person has a healthy web. It, it's just it's just so goes so well together hand in hand. So um I also wanted to let you guys know that the reason why I part my videos is because I'm off grid and my internet is slow. Well, it's not that slow, but um, it takes, if the video lasts longer than 30 minutes, um, it takes like all day to upload. So that's why I part my videos. Um, so I'm going to tune in and get started. Let's see what the spider medicine has. For us today just check and see <sighs> there's 
So thank you all for being here. I'm really grateful for, for all of you, really. I just wanted to say that my heart is just reaching out and just, I'm just really excited and grateful. <laughs> okay. So spider. I come to you for guidance, assistance. Can you show me how to develop a greater relationship with you and understand the arts of webbing, of creating a web? How can we strengthen and nurture our relationship with spider medicine. So I see I'm inside of a web and the web is placed kind of like I'm walking on it. So it's not like up somewhere. I'm literally, I'm walking on it. So it's like a floor is made of this, this spider web and everything around is gray, but not dark. It's not dark gray. It's just gray. So very neutral um, colors, um, color around the space. And I am walking on the web, looking around. And the web feels like it's energy, almost like a liquid um, energy. And it kind of has like I don't know. It's like an, it's almost has like a DNA strand inside it or something. It feels like a code. So I'm walking along this, this coding and, and all the webs are perfectly placed. And it seems like I'm going walking to somewhere like I'm, I'm walking towards the center where the spider is going to be. So, so this is very, so I, I'm meeting the spider and she's very like sacral chakra. So I feel like I'm in the sacral chakra right now. And, um, she's cute. Okay. This is a cute spider. This is a really cute spider and like a friendly spider and, and it's like a teacher spider. So she's going to teach me something. It's not like I was, I was, um, I was kind of like, um, intimidated at first. I'm like, Oh, I'm going to go meet a spider scary, but she's really like sweet and kind of motherly. And she's going to teach me something. And so she she shows me my sacral chakra and my sacral chakra is there's like a ball inside of it. it it's a ball of energy of light and okay just a second here there's a lot of information So she shows me that this, this, that I have also a thread of th this web, this like liquidy, like a coding, um, a light strand <laughs> of a web 
that I it's like I am a spider but like I'm human but if I would have the same qualities of a spider then where my sacral chakra would be there would be that's where the web would come out of and and so she she's saying that our the web is made of light coding and it comes from the higher self it comes from the source like source like god or source whatever the 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 juice of life and it comes through the crown and then it goes through all of the chakras passes through a very important oh sorry passes through the very important portal of the heart and the fire is kind of where everything is like the the cooking area of the like light and encodement and all that and once it passes through the sacral is that's where and the root like these areas that's where it comes out and you start webbing that's how you start webbing your life so it makes sense because the sacral chakra is the creation portal that's where you create and you actually make things and actually feel physical like where everything becomes physical and then the root is where everything really becomes um solidified and into 3d reality but all of this all of reality is bursted through the the unmanifested realms the um the light realms so the realms where it's not matter (laughs) Okay, all of these areas, that's where your imagination is, that's where you think, that's all of this, the energy of creation, the light that creates, that the uh, the potential of all life is birthed through your sacral chakra. So this make this really reminds me of like so what are we creating what are you what are we creating because you cannot not create you cannot not be creating because um, being a human birthing um, coming into this three dimensional reality is a constant creation is a creation in itself and you're constantly creating. Constantly, constantly, constantly. So becoming aware of your spider um, essence is important for you to understand what you're creating. And also to being able to manifest the things that are in your dream realm. So manifesting your dreams. And this also um, is another it's another way of explaining how we have to ground ourselves and how the discipline of a daily practice to tune in, to meditate and tune into ourselves is how we're going to feed ourselves and that spider energy. And because light is constantly trying to come into your crown chakra and come into your body and if you're not well grounded and rooted within um, your body and within yourself you won't be able to sustain the light that you know whenever you feel craving or lack or something is off or whatever that's because you got to stop looking for it outside yourself. You won't find it outside yourself. You might think you're, if ever you look for something outside yourself and you feel like you found it, you're not finding it. You're, you're moving towards something. You found a way for you to remember 
and then you access it back within yourself. You're not accessing it from, through something else. And this is why... This is why it's important for you to be able to recognize that you can access and that it all comes from within yourself and that you have to ground that within yourself because if you don't know that, then some um, spiders that are, some spider energies that are, that can see that about you are going to use that to manipulate and to take your light that you think you don't have because it's going to be leaking out of you. And it's just going to perpetuate the cycle because you're going to be feeling drained and you're going to be keep looking outside yourself and even more drained and then even and then that's how addictions um manifest because you keep on let me just see how long he's been so i'm gonna do a part two